Uh, I went to uh, I went to college for architecture, and uh, I only picked architecture because uh, when I was 17, my aunt was on her uh, she was dying, and she asked me what I was gonna do to make the family proud, and I just got nervous, and I said architecture, <laughs> and then she lived, and my family just ran with it. Uh, yeah. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, like, I only said it because, like, I had just seen uh, Three Men and a Baby, and, and Tom Selleck is an architect in that movie. Like, if you asked me my favorite architect, I'd have been like, Tom Selleck in Three Men and a Baby. I like his work a lot. He's really good. Um, <laughs> so, so it was a real dilemma, too, because, like, I was 17. Like, I knew at that point I wanted to do stand-up comedy, but I had just told my whole family I was gonna be an architect. Because like, so our first project, I go to college, and uh, what it was, it was a pro theoretical project where on the ground floor, it was supposed to be retail, and the top floor, it was supposed to be apartments. Uh, and uh, it was, you know, I was like, all right, I have to, you know, I gotta do this for my family, but I also have to be true to myself. So my idea was, it was a store where you rent old people for parties and <laughs> then they live in the apartments above. Uh, so everybody wins, because you know, technically that is a building. And uh, <laughs> if you're 19, that's a pretty decent joke. So, <laughs> you know, everybody's happy. But like, I couldn't, I had to like hide that part of the project from my professor, because I was already in hot water with the architecture department. Cause like the the begin there was like a, a a a dance like an architectural dance like thing I don't know like what it was but so I I just thought it was funny I, there was like an old like there was like an older lady like professor she was dancing I was just trying to make my friends laugh so I just like I thought it'd be funny if I went up and grinded on her and and then like I like looked back and they were like laughing I was like yeah wasn't that great and they were like yeah that was the dean uh, so it's like yeah maybe give me a heads up you know what I mean like. You see me booty shaking over to the most important person in college, maybe pull me aside and be like, hey, fun fact, Anthony, before you ruin your life. <laughs> so, and she wasn't, uh, she didn't think it was hilarious, by the way, the dean. Yeah, she thought it was uh, pretty disrespectful. That's the thing about architects, they're all fucking nerds. Uh, <laughs> they really are. No, they don't, like, they're not, they don't get jokes, you know what I mean? Like, they, they take themselves too serious because they have to, because nobody else does. <laughs> like, nobody cares about architecture. Like, they really don't. Like, like, people care about, like, their lives inside a building. They don't care about whether the floor plan's, like, asymmetrical or whatever. So, you know, they're very, like, self-important people. And, like, they're also, they're, like, ridiculous people, too. Like, they'd be like, like, look at, like, this is what an architect looks like. Like, they look like the mentalist or, like, whatever. <laughs> so the whole time, too, like, I'm working on this project, and my mom is, like, calling me. And she's like, hey, how's college going? And in, like, the back of my head, I'm, like, thinking about how to, like, transport old people across the country. But I'm just like, it's going great. I'm making a lot of friends. Uh, I met the dean. She's, uh, <laughs> she's a little bonier than you'd like, but, you know, she's still pretty good. <laughs> I like a thicker dean, you know, Mom? <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, so, all right, so, like, cut, like, so I work on the project all semester, and then I finally, I go to hand in my drawings, and my professor's like, you're not going to hand them in, you're going to hang them up, because everyone's going to do a presentation of their project in front of the whole class of visiting architect and the dean. And I was like, that's great, my old dance partner. That'll be good to be reunited with her. So the presentation starts, I go last, and I, I'm just, everybody's like amazing. And I'm just laughing, because like I know what I'm about to do, <laughs> but nobody else does. And after this, everything's gonna be different. <laughs> so finally they call my name, I go up to the board, and like you know when like, I hadn't done any public speaking at the time, so like you know when you like talk to a cop and you're really nervous? So you just tell them everything you've ever done in your life? Like, like, that's what I was doing with this project. Like, I was just like, oh, here's where we weigh the old people for pricing. Uh, they're, yeah. 
Those are real. They're vegetables. That's how we treat them. That's a real line. I was like, the price varies depending on their age and illness, how much they say oriental. Uh, <laughs> it's a lot of factors, you know, here at Party Over Here. <laughs> so I had like, I, I had exhausted myself on like the business strategy part of this architectural project. So the apartments, I just didn't have, I didn't get around to it. I was too hung up on, you know, proper vans to move them across the globe. And, you know, you know, all kinds of carriage systems. I had a lot of things worked out. Like, it was like a beautiful mind, but like real fucked up. You know what I mean? <laughs> if, it was, if that mute... <laughs> and like, instead of physics, he just focused on transporting old people across the world for the weirdest movie Russell Crowe has ever been involved in. But anyway, so, all right, so like, so yeah, the, the apartment, I didn't know what anything was. So like, I, I was just pointing at different things and I was like, uh, oh, that's a bedroom. Uh, I'm gonna make that a wrestling ring. Who gives a shit? I don't know. So then, so then finally I just stopped, like I was done. Like, I don't even know that I said goodbye. Like my body was just like, no, you were, you were like, it like shut me down. Like it took over at that point. You know, when you're drunk and it just throws up. Like it like kind of did that at that point. So like. I, I'm standing there, and then like I look out, and I, it just like hits me. I'm like, oh shit! Like I think I just failed college. <laughs> like I, like I'm picturing my mom crying, like Tom Selleck's disappointed, <laughs> all kinds of things. So then, so then nobody says anything, and then the visiting architect walks up to the board, and I'm thinking the worst, and he just looks it over, and he looks at me. And he goes, Anthony, I just don't think it's a good idea to put the bedroom so close to the wrestling ring, because, yeah, you know. <laughs> yep, and then they tried to expel me. Uh, and my mom had to call him, it was a whole thing. Um, but like it all, you know, like it worked out, you know what I mean? Like I stopped doing architecture, I started doing comedy, like, if I never did comedy, like, I wouldn't be here, like, at telling this story at the Kennedy Center. Like, if I was an architect, I would have done one building, it would have fell down, I would have went to prison, everybody be dead. That would have been it. All right, man, you guys were fun. Taco, goodbye.